G'day cobblers, welcome back to the bush. In this video we'll be checking out the Road Chef versus the Travel Buddy. The Originator versus the Imitator. What's got a better build quality? And most importantly, what performs the best? Let's get into it. First up, let's check out the dimensions of the two units and we'll start with the Road Chef. Now the width of the Road Chef is about 320 mil. But what about the Travel Buddy? Is that any wider? And that one comes in at 320 mil as well. But what about the depth of the unit? Firstly, the Road Chef, that's 275 millimeters. And what about the Travel Buddy? We'll have a look at that. That also comes in at about 275 mil. What about the height? Let's check the Road Chef. And we're looking at 185 mil there. And now the Travel Buddy, is that any taller? That also comes in at 185 millimeters. So externally, they're both pretty much identical. But what about the internal size? Let's open them up and have a look. Starting with the Road Chef. It's about 270 mil wide in the interior. And now the Travel Buddy. Let's check out how wide that is. And that's also around about 270 mil. Now for the height of the interior. Firstly, the Road Chef. And that's about 100 mil. Now for the Travel Buddy. Let's check out the height of that. That also comes in at about 100 mil. But what about the depth of the interior? Let's check that out in the Road Chef first. And that's about 250 mil. And now for the Travel Buddy. Let's check out the interior depth. And that comes in almost identical at 250 mil. So externally and internally, they're pretty much carbon copies of each other. But what about the features? Right now, let's compare the features of the Road Chef versus the Travel Buddy. First, the door latch. Now, there's an over-centered door latch on the Road Chef and just a friction hold door latch on the Travel Buddy. Uh, to be honest, the engagement of the over center latch is better. You can get aftermarket ones for these if you're not happy. If you're doing a lot of corrugated dirt roads in the middle of nowhere, you might find, especially if you've got trays in there, it'll push the door open. So your over center latch is a better deal for those too. When it comes to setting the temperature, your temperature dial on the Road Chef goes to 180 degrees, your travel buddy goes to 200 degrees. But we'll be testing that in a minute. Now the timer, we will be testing the accuracy of the timer. Now the difference between the Road Chef and the Travel Buddy is the Road Chef has a two hour timer, just like the Travel Buddy. But the Travel Buddy not only has a two hour timer, but it has a setting where you can just turn it on and leave it on. Now I found that handy when I was doing the testing. If you're cooking pies, it's not gonna concern you. However, if you're cooking a roast, well, you're probably going to be messing with it every couple of hours anyway, so it's probably not a deal breaker, but it is something to consider. So the next thing we did was some extensive testing using the temperature data logger, and we'll show you the results of that now. Firstly, let's have a look at the Road Chef's timer accuracy. Now, if we have a look at the graph, you'll be able to see at 40 minutes, 38.5, at 60 minutes, 61.5, at 80 minutes, 79.75 at 100 minutes 95.9 and 120 minutes 116.9 so as far as the timer accuracy is concerned it's just every bit as good as a travel buddy so if you want to have a look at the accuracy of the travel buddy check out the link above and be able to see my travel buddy review let's move on to the thermostat accuracy so at 80 degrees it averaged actually a little bit over at 107 degrees. At 120, 126. At 150 degrees, it averaged 166. And at 180 degrees, where you're usually cooking, it averaged 186 degrees Celsius. So the thermostat is reasonably accurate. Not quite as accurate as a travel buddy, but not too bad. And considering most of your cooking is done at 180 degrees Celsius, I'd say good enough. 
Now let's get into the meat of it. What about performance on battery only? So I did the performance testing on a fully charged 105 amp hour full river AGM battery. And let's have a look at the graph for that. So let's have a look at the performance on battery. So when you're not driving, when you're parked up at camp at night. So a preheat on battery, the Travel Buddy didn't quite reach the preheat temperature after two hours. It reached a maximum temperature of 172 degrees. Now, the Road Chef, however, reached our preheat temperature of 180 degrees in 69 minutes. So the Road Chef is the winner there. But what about when you're driving? Most people will be using a 12 volt oven when they're driving along. So let's have a look at the graphing for that with the preheat. So the Road Chef reached preheat of 180 degrees in 48 minutes and the Travel Buddy five minutes behind at 53 minutes. So a little bit better performance out of the Road Chef. Now while preheating's all fine and well, the proof's in the pudding, or in this case, the pies. So we got my staple test, which is four frozen pies, four and 20 pies, shoved in a preheated Road Chef and a travel buddy. So let's have a look at the performance there. And as we can see, with a starting temperature of 180 degrees, it dropped down in both units to about 170 degrees by the time we opened up the door, put the pies in and shut the door again. The performance of the Road Chef is substantially better than that of the Travel Buddy. The Road Chef being in the orange and the Travel Buddy in the blue. So we're cooking pies faster and more efficiently in the Road Chef than we are the Travel Buddy. Now one difference with the Road Chef than the Travel Buddy is the Road Chef comes standard with an insulated door. But does that affect performance? So let's check out our cool down. So this is from 180 degrees with both units and just let cool down when they've been unplugged. And as you can see at 180 degrees with the Road Chef in the orange and the Travel Buddy in the blue, the performance of the Road Chef was better. It cooled down more slowly than the Travel Buddy. So again, the Road Chef's performance was better. And there's another consideration when it comes to powering your Road Chef or your Travel Buddy. Now your Road Chef comes with an Anderson plug, a 50 amp Anderson plug and an inline fuse. It also comes with an adapter so you can plug it into a cigarette outlet. The Travel Buddy on the other hand only comes standard with a cigarette lighter plug. However, as you can see, I've installed a 50 amp Anderson on this one and an inline fuse. The great thing about changing over to the Anderson on the Travel Buddy, even though they don't supply it, is it doesn't affect your warranty. However, you will have to go out and purchase the Anderson plug. And if you're not able to put it on yourself, you're gonna to have to get someone to do that for you. Whereas with the Road Chef, it comes standard. So what do we think in the end? Well, it's a hard call for me. To be honest, I'm a patriot. I wanna keep my kids in jobs. Now, this is Australian made. In fact, made in my home state of Victoria down in Bendigo Way by Crystal Air. And this is an imported unit brought in by RPM Innovations, but it's built in China. I really like my travel buddy. And I've borrowed this unit for testing from Rory at Somerville Metalworks. Now there's a link down in the description. Rory makes a great array of insulated doors for the Travel Buddy and also trays for both the Travel Buddy and the Road Chef. Having said that, the performance is better in every way, shape and form. It heats up faster, it cooks faster and it cools down more slowly. It also integrates the 50 amp Anderson standard, whereas you have to put that on the Travel Buddy. So, as far as performance is concerned, the Road Chef, when you think about things like the included over center latch, it's just a better unit. And I'm not happy saying that, really I'm not. What I hope this does is this spurs on Crystal Air, the manufacturer of the Travel Buddy, to come out with a Travel Buddy Marine Mark II that will be better in every way, shape and form than the Road Chef unit and take back the rightful position as the number one 12 volt oven for the back of your four wheel drive. Now guys, if you like this video, check out the end cards because we're actually doing a tear down of the Travel Buddy versus the Road Chef. And we're gonna work out exactly why the performance 
of the Road Chef who's better than the Travel Buddy. If you like this video, guys, give us a thumbs up. And if you didn't, by all means, give us a thumbs down twice. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Okay. G'day Cobbers, welcome back to the bush. In this video we'll be checking out the Road Chef versus Travel Buddy. Wrong hand? Right. <laughs> <laughs>